this you? party. Big guy. Okay. All right. We got a live mic, and we got a live mic. So, um, I want to bring up the rest of beer farmers. Thank you so much for attending BeerCon 4. You will be tired of the sound of my voice by the end of this, I'm sure. Uh, but I want right now to welcome a, a new beer farmer, uh, Lisa Forte. Come on up. Um, breaking news here from BeerCon 4, Lisa will be retiring from IT security and starting her own line of athletic leisure wear, uh, focused on climbing and climbing supplies. Um, so really excited to welcome her and the diversity of the team. And I'm going to turn it over to Lisa for, um, she's going to introduce Nikki. I am. Of the team. Thank you and so much for the introduction, which was obviously completely factually correct at all <laughs> points. And mine will also be similarly factually correct. Um, I'm here to introduce another beer farmer, wonderful Nikki Webb, who is also a notorious influencer for Haribo. She is one of their key information security influencers, despite the brand trying to break into the information security space somehow. Um, and she's also a party animal, and she also likes to confuse the Sherpas with the Incas, but that's another story. So this is Nikki, welcome. Thank you. And I'm like to read through the short straw here. So I'm going to introduce the Fat Hobbit. Uh, me and the Fat Hobbit are renowned for getting in many amounts of trouble, primarily on boats and around piracy. Uh, we kind of bonded over our mutual love of solo wins, um, and I'm sure that the Fat Hobbit will talk about solo wins lots today, and that's all I've got really, because I was just told that I had to do this. So thanks for having me. You have uh, one change in the schedule though. Unfortunately, Joe Sullivan will not be presenting here at BeerCon 4 uh, due to, well, incarceration. Joe Sullivan will not be presenting here at BeerCon 4. I do do well. And we're over to you, Mike. <laughs> I, guess that, I guess that's down to me. Okay, folks. Right, so welcome to BeerCon 4. Um, I can't see I can't see anybody. If Lisa, Lisa Ventura is in the house, then this T-shirt's for you. Happy birthday for Friday. Um, what we got to say? Right, okay, so brief history of BeerCon. So this is our fourth BeerCon. Um, our first BeerCon was back just pre-pandemic in 2019, a fully virtual conference where we had 89 presenters across 26 and a half hours, um, non-stop uh, um, interviews, really. And it was all about raising money for charity, and it was a really fantastic event. We had lots of luminaries and lots of people that were household names in the industry uh, and in the community, but also quite a lot of people that were just doing great work, but not so many people had heard of, and it was a real success. And then we did it again. Um, again, it was a pandemic time, and so we were all locked down. We couldn't go anywhere, so we ran a second virtual conference in 2020, which was, of course, BeerCon 2. And the, and the premise of that was purely around rookies. So it was about people that were new to public speaking, not necessarily new to the industry, but new to standing up in front of strangers and, and sharing their experiences. And again, it was a great success. And then last year, it was a little more relaxed and we were able to go out and meet up with a few people. <clears throat> so we did BeerCon 3, which was set down in London at Ian's old recording studio down in uh, southeast London. Um, and we had a bit of a mix. So again, it was rookies, um, but some people had spoken with us before and, and other people was, um, besides. And it was great. And then around about that time, the good people at DTX, um, namely James McGough, came along and said, you know, we really like what you guys are doing. You, you kind of in, you're in with the community and you're mixing it up a little bit and you've got kind of punk thing going on, which was nice to hear. And we started a conversation, really. And so it was around about this time last year about whether it would be a, a good format to be able to bring the community vibe that we try and establish and, and deliver with BeerCon into a, a, a larger event like the place you're in today and so we've done a lot of planning and negotiating and chatting and working it out and designing and all that kind of stuff and what you see around you is the kind of the products of all of that work so this is BeerCon 4 and again in terms of the content it's a bit of a mix of people that have never done it before people that are, uh, are more established and experienced in delivering talks and again we've got a really great mix of topics we've got a great mix of people you know when we put out calls for presentations we just want to know if you've got something interesting that you want to share. And that's that's really the only thing we're after. And so you'll see that across the next couple of days. Um, it would be remiss of me not to 
pay tribute to the, the members of the beer farmers that have passed away from our team, not passed away, but passed away from the team um, over the last 12 months. So I'd like to give big shout outs to um, to John Opdenacher, uh, to Sean Wright, and of course to Scott McGrady. Um, all of those guys decided that life was just getting a little bit too busy for them in order to be able to include working on these projects. And we fully respect that. And they go with our love and blessing and we still talk regularly with them. But again, as, uh, as Ian just started off with in the opener, we welcome Lisa and Nikki in and it gives us some fresh perspectives, some fresh energy, and we're doing some new stuff. And a lot of the things that are happening over these next two days uh, are purely a product of, of the contributions that, that Lisa and Nikki have already made into what we're doing. So, I want to give big thanks to DTX, uh, DTX, UCX, IRX, um, for taking a punt on this project. A uh, bit of a risk because this standard format of expo or large convention is more geared up to vendor displays and booths and people wanting to sell your products and services. Well, we're not doing that. We've never been about that. We're about connecting the community with the industry because without the community, personally, the industry is nothing. It doesn't exist. Uh, I want to give a shout out to the crew. Um, and so on site we've got we've got Dave McKenzie. Dave McKenzie is an erstwhile of every single thing the bear farmers have ever done. Um, his name is mentioned more in every conversation we have than the word the. And he's probably laughing now because I raised that one at the last beer con. Big shout outs to Jared again, who's been with us for a long time, helping out, doing a lot of the tech, being really super helpful in everything that we try to put on. And then last but not least, Nikos, who's been the guy that rocked up late last night with all of us kind of our hair on fire about audio and video not working properly and then fixed it all. So hopefully you're seeing the output of the quality of the work that's gone into pre preparation of this. We've got, I think, 20 speakers across the two days. We've um, got all sorts of good stuff going on. You'll have seen us waxing on about the, the food collection scheme for Newham Food Bank. So if you haven't already and you, you're going out and about, you're coming back tomorrow, you know, there's a local Tesco. In fact, Tesco amplified our tweet yesterday, which was super cool. Um, pick up some tin things and some pasta and all that kind of stuff. Bring it along. We've got a box, which I suspect is probably not big enough, really, for the amount of uh, content that it's going to get. But just keep bringing stuff along, and we will make sure that it gets passed over to the local food bank. Um, and we thank you for it, for all that stuff. Um, as you probably saw, we had a... Um, a late cancellation in the schedule, so Don Atas was unable to join us for various personal reasons. So we've got Fleur coming up at 11 o'clock, uh, still on track, so we've got a few minutes before that happens. Um, and that's kind of it for me. I'll shut the hell up. So if Ian or Nikki or Lisa, you want to take over the mic for a minute? All right. Okay. Great opening remarks, Mike. Uh, just a few housekeeping things. These headphones on the ground right here, if the conference noise becomes too busy for you, just pick them up, hold down the button till it turns red, and you should be able to hear um, a lot better if the conference noise uh, becomes too much for you. Nikki, you have a point. If anybody in here does use these, can I just ask that when you take them off and leave the beer garden, you put them on this table or this table just so I can sanitize them and put them back, if that's all right with everyone? Right. And just a reminder, too, if you've got um, goods that you want to donate to the food bank, just place them up here and uh, we'll be taking all of that stuff after the two days of the conference. All right. So, uh, Dave Mack, um, just two minutes until our next speaker comes to us. Um, she will be appearing uh, remotely from an undisclosed location, mostly undisclosed uh, location because no one told me exactly where any of the speakers are located. But from somewhere on planet Earth, we're fairly certain. Any other things that we need to pass on at this time? All right, um, I will just do the obligatory um, it, there are no fire drills planned today. However, if you hear the fire alarm, please depart in an orderly manner. All right? I think that's the safety brief uh, that we need to give. Dave, I'm out of material. Unless people want to hear about my life. Um, okay. Well, thank you, Lisa. And uh, I was born... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm getting the cut signal from Nikos. Are we ready to go live, Dave? All right. 